there is one type of air gun that is not powered by air. Instead, it's powered by pressurized carbon dioxide. It's called CO2 for short. This is a Crossman model 2240. It's a single shot pistol in 22 caliber. The CO2 cartridge fits into the tube under the barrel here. First, you need to put the gun on safe, like this. When you remove this end cap, keep your hands clear of the muzzle, your finger off the trigger, and don't point the gun anywhere unsafe. I'm going to put this CO2 cartridge into the gun. But before I do that, I have something important I have to do. Always put a drop of Crossman Pell gun oil on the tip of each new cartridge. This keeps the gun sealed for a long time. Now, drop the cartridge into the gun like this. Then, replace the cap. With most CO2 air guns, as the cap is screwed home, the cartridge inside is pierced and immediately sealed. However, with this particular model, the cartridge is pierced with the first shot. Now the gun is charged. It is ready for 45 to 50 powerful, accurate shots. I'm gonna take the first shot without a pellet, just to make sure the gas is flowing. First, cock the gun and close the bolt. Take the gun off safe and pull the trigger. Now, we're ready to do some real shooting. Come on, let's go check out this gun in action. The Crossman 2240 is a single shot. But many CO2 guns are repeaters. This means you can shoot several times without having to reload. Since all you have to do is pull the trigger, CO2 is ideal for fast action repeaters. When a CO2 gun starts to decline in power, you'll hear it drop off. The muzzle blast becomes quieter or softer. That's when you know it's time to remove the cartridge. Don't shoot the gun until it's empty or you'll get a pellet stuck in the barrel. When you get to this point, unscrew the end cap slowly and at some point, the remaining gas rushes out. The owner's manuals of most CO2 guns tell you to store them without gas in them, so follow these directions. It won't damage the gun to store it when it's charged. However, when it is charged, it will shoot anything that is put into the barrel. If you have children around, it's safer to empty the gas before storing the gun. One last thing, CO2 gas pressure varies with temperature. These guns like to operate between 70 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Much colder and they lose a lot of power. Much hotter and the valve will start to lock up. Again causing a loss of power. CO2 guns will last a long time with proper use and maintenance. And don't forget, Pelgun oil is the most important part. Thanks for watching Airgun Academy. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time with another great lesson from Pyramid Air.